right, this video is going out to my main man, Jake Soft. Dude, I don't know your real name, but by following your posts and, you know, reading a little bit of the Arduino books, uh, I'm building a lightsaber soundboard, which is more or less an Arduino, an Arduino micro and the WT588D USB soundboard. Uh, single single push button. There's the lightsaber that it will all fit into. I like the button on the bottom so that when you actually battle with it, you don't hit the button by accident. I found that hitting the button by accident actually happens a lot. Um, this is the 2 watt 8 ohm mini speaker 20 24 millimeter diameter bunch of other speakers that I was playing with and right now I have it so if you hold the button the green LED is uh, to signify the MOSFET uh, transistor that turns on the LED and the red LED just uh, is to kind of signify just the off state or the fact that the state does the other th does the other thing when you when you toggle the button. Now my main problem, and there's the off state, but I'm holding the button down to get that off state. I don't know what, and when I when I release the button, turns it right on, and you know the hum is going. And when I built my, loaded my sound files onto the sound module, what I did was I loaded the on sound and the off sound and any other sound, but I always followed it with like a minute of hum because I noticed it didn't take it any more space on the, on the chip. You could loop as many files in your playlists as you want and it didn't take up any storage. They're basically just pointers, much like how video editing software works. You can... You know, your project doesn't get any bigger. It's just the size of the video clip, no matter how many times you reference that video in the project. So now when you push the, when you push the button, it turns it off. And that LED turns off and that LED turns on. But if I hold it down again, well, that LED, that, that, so that just, that just turned the lightsaber back on. And then I'm holding the button down again. And that, but if I tap the button, it's just running the off sound over and over again. But now, that, but if, if the green light was on, and then I'm holding the button down, if I release the button again, then it actually launches the the on sound. I don't know why it's doing it. It's probably because I don't actually understand what the button state is. I thought the button was a broken circuit and when you push the button the circuit completes. Which would mean that right now the button is in a low state. When I push the button it's, it's in a high state so that when I release it it's back to a low state. I think I might have that backwards. I don't know. Um, when when the sound module was in button mode, everything worked. the sh The shaker sensor worked, and I could shake it, and it would go. Vroom, 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 vroom. Now, with without even getting the one button working, I don't know uh, if I'll get the uh, shaker sensor to do anything. I'm thinking that I probably might just want to go back to use the sound module by itself. And the Arduino doesn't seem to be too cooperative. And possibly mill in extra buttons in the lightsaber so that on and off and then the shake sensor would just work. And probably a master kill switch to turn the whole thing off. Because otherwise, if it's on... And the blade sound on or off. If the blades, if the blade sound off has been played, and everything is off, you could still shake it, 
and it would do the whir, whir, whir while the whole thing was off. That's not going to work. They'll be they'll have to be a master off. Otherwise, it's going to this is silly. So, but everything's wired in as to the spec. Um, I probably could draw all this out on a line diagram a lot easier than showing all these snakes of wires. Um, the only reason why the soundboard is on this smaller breadboard is because this is like a 20 year old breadboard and there's dead spots all over it that I've been finding. So I have to be very careful on what I do because there's just dead spots everywhere. So, yeah. So I'm I'm getting closer. If I if I if I want to hold the button down, the blade's off, and then on, that works. And then the following button press will be full off. You know, and it's off. So if I want to, if I want to deal with no clash, that'll probably work. Maybe I can make a a whole new boolean uh, statement running in the loop that will be a different button a new button pin and then much like how this uh triggers over and over again maybe the shake sensor will have a similar reaction but definitely the the button the button triggering the send command inside the boolean of the if else statement that triggers the LEDs is really screwy and but it's more stable than just making a straight if else if button you know if uh, digital read from the button the if else if I do that it just sounds like a nightmare it's just like just kind of just kind of just kind of goes like that it's crazy does that it's really nuts I don't know why it does that but you know if I hold the button down let go blade on that would be LED on as well and then holding it and then blade off and an LED off because the green LED is gonna be the trigger for the uh, for the data signal for the MOSFET, so that should trigger the, that should complete the circuit that'll be the, for the separate driver for the LED. And then of course, you know, when that green LED is on, there we go, the, the MOSFET should get the trigger and, cl and close down that circuit. And so that it'll drive the LED with the proper uh, current and voltage. So uh, I'll post my code that signifies what this is actually happening um, I'm sure smarter people will be able to almost tell what's happening just by demonstrating how it all works. This little speaker, boy, it, it, it's the extra bass speaker. And when you put a little bit of funnel, a little, a little cup on this, I, I mean, that gets, that gets nice and deep. So I'll, I'll have to add something to that to make it deep. All right, I guess I'm what, halfway there, maybe 30% there.